You want to Good morning my friends and welcome to the video. So today we are kicking off another cheat day and it's been pretty much a month since my last cheat day. As you guys have been seeing, I haven't been doing cheat days every single week. They've really slowed down a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably maybe once a month. So enjoy this video while you can. The next one won't be probably for a little while. Let's just get started. You guys know we have to go to the one and only 5 Donuts. And yes, donuts are one of my favorite things to eat on cheat day. So let's just get started. Oh. Hands down, still the goat in my book. It just really cannot be beat. I love it. The best way to start the day. Corona, baby. And here we get some Vegan Power Pro. Iced oatmeal cookie flavor. Hands down, my favorite flavor from First Form. And again, in Vegan Power Pro, it is not just a plant-based protein. There's also digestive enzymes in there as well. And it is seriously amazing. So, per scoop, 19 grams of protein. We got two scoops in there, so... Again, these donuts don't have much protein. Gotta get in that recovery. All right, and next up, check this thing out. I almost lost it when I was trying to take a thumbnail. I'll actually show you guys. Yeah, so this next one, I almost lost half the ingredients on my dashboard. It was like starting to fall down, but this one is called the Biscoff Nana Cheesecake. So it's cookie butter, Biscoff crumbs, cheesecake, banana slices, and more cookie butter. Where my cookie butter fans at? Aki. Oh my god. That cheesecake combination with the banana and the cookie butter. Wow. Mmm. This was well worth waiting a whole entire month for. Oh, and those little cookie butter cookies on there. Nice little crunch in the mix. Go go. Five of seriously gets it done. Oh yeah. Oh, all right. All right, so this next one, I've never seen this one at 5.0 before. Obviously they have done the Fruity Pebble cereal donut before. But this one has, I believe, strawberry whipped cream on top. This is strawberry whipped cream. Bro, it's gonna blow my mind. Here we go. Bro, mm. Bro, so it's like a strawberry buttercream frosting on top of a strawberry frosted donut topped with Fruity Pebbles cereal. Look at that. This is heaven. Ooh, all right. Last but not least, this next donut is pretty massive. So this next one is called Pumpkin Roll. So check it out. We do have a glazed donut topped with a homemade caramel mousse plus caramel plus a pumpkin cream cheese roll. Yo. All right, 
Here we go, guys. Pumpkin season coming soon. Here we go. Sorry. Mmm. Now there's a flavor you don't taste every day. That pumpkin-y, cinnamon-y, pumpkin spice. Damn, that's delicious. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're like me and you like donuts, got donut shirts are on my website. If you would like to support the channel, be sure to check them out. I have them in all different sizes. Just got donuts with a pink donut in the middle. Check them out. Tag me on Instagram while eating a donut. I'll be sure to share those. And like always, thank you guys for the support. Fire. Hmm. Ah, woo, all right, well, that is the start of the day. 5 Donuts, the GOAT here in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, if you guys have not tried them yet, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you will not be disappointed. It is the best, the best. So today we are partnering with Merrick. Merrick sent me over this lightweight, affordable Q1S rower. The product was well packaged and it had easy to follow instructions that made the assembly process super simple. It came with all the required hardware and tools. The assembly took about 15 minutes and it was ready to row. The rower is compatible up to six foot seven inches and 350 pounds. For reference, I'm about 5'11 and 207 pounds. The rower uses an electromagnetic resistance system that is extremely quiet, less prone to friction, and it is super smooth. Merrick has an app which you can connect through Bluetooth which has tons of different classes for you to join. This makes it really fun as you can have a coach right there along with you. All you have to do is just follow my instructions, okay? So we're pushing with our legs first, then arms, then arms and legs, okay? Do this over and over. Good job. We're in this together. We're doing this together. Let's go, come on. Remember to breathe when we're doing this. Or if you just wanna pretend you're on the lake, rowing by yourself, that's completely cool too. It also allows you to track your calories burned, your distance, your strokes, and more. It also has 16 different levels of resistance that can be adjusted to your current level of fitness. The rower only weighs 50 pounds, so it makes moving it very easy and it's compact and doesn't take up much space at all. So if you guys wanted to check out this awesome rower by Mirac, be sure to click the link in the description box down below to receive the early bird discount but be quick guys because it will be going back to its normal price next week i think it's an awesome rower it has bluetooth it's lightweight it's quiet and you seriously can't beat that so be sure to check them out and once again thank you merak for sponsoring today's video Is that? Yo, YouTuber? Yeah, yeah. What's your channel? Uh, it's my name, Nick Dumpier, N I C K D O M P I E R R E. I do all kinds of like food what stuff and shit. Fuck? No way. Yeah, man. Keep grinding, bro. Alright, you have a good one. What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, man. No have a good one. Okay, okay. Aquí vamos. Alrighty guys, alright, alright. So we decided to go to two different places. One, I really wanted a double Whopper. As you guys know, well, if you've been subscribed for a bit, you know how much I love the Whopper sandwich. And I also wanted McDonald's fries, but then I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what, I might as well get a Big Mac too while I'm here because, you know, you can't go to McDonald's without getting a Big Mac. And also, one more thing. We got this McDonald's cinnamon roll, which we will be having for dessert. Damn, it smells amazing. 
Yeah, so Laura told me that one of her friends have tried this and she was like, make sure you get the cinnamon roll. So that's gonna be for dessert. But first up, um, should we go Big Mac or should we go Double Whopper first? Hmm. Um, you know what? Oh, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have the Big Mac, no. <laughs> So I'm gonna have the double Whopper with the McDonald's fries at the same time. Get my little table here. Oof. Get nice and warm. The Whopper's still nice and warm. All right, here we go, guys. Bro, double Whopper is the goat. Look at that, baby. All right, here we go. Double Whopper. So good. So in the double whopper, we do have onions, lettuce, pickles, tomato, uh, mayonnaise, and I believe there's another sauce. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe maybe it's called the whopper sauce. I don't know. But the combination is so delicious. So good. So good. And drink of choice, we do have a Dr. Pepper. Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's dive into some of these fries here. McDonald's definitely got some of the best fries around. Mmm, yeah, I forgot to ask for ketchup, but y'all know me, check this out. The emergency ketchup packet. Everybody should have an emergency ketchup packet in their car. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what? I wanna try McDonald's sweet and sour sauce with the Burger King Whopper, and then I'm gonna try, oh damn, they didn't give me sweet and sour sauce from Burger King. I did ask for it, but did not get it. All right, so let's try out the McDonald's sweet and sour with the Burger King Whopper. No. It doesn't go. The Burger King sweet and sour sauce on the Whopper, all day. Yeah, it just didn't. It just didn't go well. wasn't wasn't very. Uh, didn't really pop. It was just kind of like flavors were fighting each other. Now let's move on to the Big Mac. If you guys haven't had a Big Mac. Where you been? So for the Big Mac, we do have three buns. So it's a bun, patty, bun, patty, bun. So there is lettuce, pickles, and there's McDonald's Mac sauce, which is basically, I think, like Thousand Island dressing and simple yet delicious. But I swear, these things are getting smaller and smaller or my hands are just getting bigger and bigger. But I mean, I feel like I'm done growing, but here we go. Mmm. Bread and cheese. I love it. <laughs> Woo, all right. Sandwiches are down, fries are down, and now it is time for some dessert. So here we have the almighty Mickey D's cinnamon roll. But can it compare to Cinnabon? Y'all know how I feel about Cinnabon, so let's give it a go. Oh, it smells delicious. So it reminds me of like those mini Pillsbury dough rolls that you can make at home. Like you pop the can open and there's like six of them. Kind of reminds me of that, like the smell. Here we go. Oh my God. Damn. That is pretty damn good. But I am gonna have to say, Cinnabon is definitely 
more, I'd say, moist and chewier. Uh, the center of this, it's a little little dry, but Cinnabon, I mean, Cinnabon's the goat of cinnamon rolls, but this is not too bad. It's still really delicious. <laughs> All right, well, that was absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed myself. Again, it is fast food. It's not something I eat every day, so that double whopper, whenever I get the opportunity to eat it, I'll eat it, and that is only on the cheat day. I'm gonna chill for a little bit, and then Lauda is gonna be joining me for the next meal, so stay tuned for that. Where are we going, babe? What rhymes with, bur with Corolla? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> hey, what rhymes with Coronas? Verona! <laughs> no, Verona's Verona. Verona. <laughs> Settle down, girl. You get too excited. <laughs> Double cheese, double pepper. Oof. Dale. Well, Dale, pues. So when you come to a pizza restaurant and you don't have to ask for Parmesan cheese, you know you're in a good place. Because it's never enough cheese to do mozzarella sticks. And I'm gonna be careful because it's hot. Like super hot. Mm -hmm. so good. Really hot, but it's really delicious. So that Bro, to be honest, it's probably been like, what would you say, like six months since I had one of these? Really? Ooh. <laughs> it's so good. Cheese, man. Cheese and gluten. So good. Double cheese, double pepperoni. Only way to go. That is amazing. We will order double cheese, double pepperoni in another place, but it's just not like this one. I don't know why. Verona's Ar hits differently. It's like fluffy, not like the, look, because look at how thin it is. It's not like super fluffy. It's just the cheese. It's a lot. You see it? It's thin, but the cheese, it's a lot. So good. <laughs> well, alrighty, my friends, that is another cheat day in the books. So again, like I said, um, the next cheat day probably won't be for another month. As you guys have been noticing, I've been doing more regular days of eating, showing you guys how I eat on a daily basis. And you know, to be honest, like, I mean, I don't need a cheat day every single week. Um, before I was doing them every single week, 
And now that I'm really focusing on my diet, my gut health, which I've basically been doing, you know, is like eating good outside of the cheat days. Um, but I noticed I feel a lot better by avoiding gluten and dairy more than just like six days out of the week, you know? So when I go like two, three weeks without having gluten or dairy, like I feel a lot better. So um, again, not everybody has the condition I have, Hashimoto's. So when I do have gluten and dairy, I don't feel good, <laughs> you know? So tonight was really a treat, you know, having the Verona's pizza, that double cheese, double pepperoni, and just even like the bread, the dough that they use, it just has a fantastic, delicious, amazing taste to it. So I uh, definitely really enjoyed myself. Again, 502 is just the best. And um, yeah, so cheat days. Cheat days have really slowed down, but I still will be doing them once a month. So hopefully you guys still stick around my channel and like to enjoy the other videos that I do produce. I know a lot of you guys are here just for the cheat days, but um, yeah, they're not gonna be every single week like they were. So hopefully you guys stick around and check out my other content. And uh, if you have any ideas or any suggestions for other content that you guys would like to see, definitely let me know. Um, we'll be switching it up a little bit. But yeah, that is another video in the books. And before I go, I wanna say another big thank you to Merit for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out. Link is in the description box down below. And like always guys, thank you so much for all the love and the support. I really do appreciate it and stay tuned for more content coming soon. So I, I seriously don't know how to end the video without saying, all right guys, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> like I, 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 I just, that's just how I end the video. So I apologize for this continuing. So all right, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.